Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take one simple line of code to turn any paragraph text into multiple columns of text. We're going to look at adjusting this code for two columns or three columns, and I'm going to show you how you can use a very specific code name to isolate just the blog posts on your Squarespace website. So what we're going to be doing today will be done in my 7.1 demo site, but this code works for any version of Squarespace. That's right, any version, any theme, Squarespace 7 or 7.1, it's going to be the exact same code. What you need to know is the code name for the type of text you'd like to apply this to. Again, I'm going to be showing you this for a simple paragraph text, and then I'll show you the trick that I use when I want to apply this to just blog post paragraph text. Okay? Okay. Let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how this works. So here we are in my demo site, and you can see I have this large piece of paragraph text, a couple of paragraphs, just some Latin filler text for us to see how this column count actually works. So what we're adding is custom CSS. So we need to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. Again, that's for Squarespace 7 or 7.1. I'm just using my 7.1 demo site for this tutorial. So normal paragraph text, the code name for that in CSS is the letter P. That's it, just the letter P. And then we're gonna open up a bracket and we're gonna say column count. And this is where we add the number of columns that we like. Let's start with two. And then I'm gonna add a semicolon and I'm gonna say column gap 5%. Now, I added column gap 5% because when we go to a mobile device and I still wanna see those two columns, that's gonna be 5% of the view width of what we're seeing here. And I think it's important to keep that responsive just as how the text is responsive. So you'll see because I've said two columns, now our paragraph text is in two different columns. We can change that to five if we want to and have five columns of text, as many as you'd like. Two or three seems to be the most readable to me, so that's what I focus on. And this column gap, you can change this to any size you want. Heck, you can make it zero if you want to and scoot them right next to each other, or you can make it 10%, whatever value you're comfortable with. You can also add a pixel width if you want to say 30px, for example, but I will stress that when we go to a mobile device, that space is going to be bigger than it is on a desktop. So I personally prefer to use percentage. Now, one other thing I alluded to was how to actually apply this code to just blog posts. Okay, so let's click over to my blog example. And once that loads, we're going to click into the first post here in my sample blog that I have up. And this code here will then be applied to that paragraph text and space everything out. But what if we want it to apply to just the blog post? In Squarespace 7.1, what we need to do is in front of that letter P, we need to add the, the text period blog item content and then a space. This will apply it to just the blog item, but check it out. When we go back to that main paragraph text on the main page, this stays the way that it was. So I do want to mention that although blog item content applies this code to just blog posts in 7.1, there is a different code name if you're using a Squarespace 7 site. Brian sites have a different code name than Bedford sites, than Pacific, than York. I've listed those out in the description beneath this video. So make sure you're grabbing the right code for the theme if you want to apply this to just a blog post. But for any other type of text, just use the code name for that text type, like the letter P. If you want to install this on a single page, you totally can. I will link to my instructions for installing code on just one page on your Squarespace website. So you can grab that detailed information and apply it to a single page in your site, regardless of what version you're using. But that's it for this tutorial, a nice quick one. Column count, specify the number. Column gap, specify the space between the columns on the page. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.